Recently, I've had a lot of people ask about mindset videos. And I thought, why not listen to those people? Because that's the whole objective of this particular channel is to listen to people, see what they want, and then to give it to them and to you, of course, if I have the knowledge, experience, expertise, and the ability to share. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you five of my many tips on mindset. Watch them at the end, leave comments, let me know what you think and share your own views. Having been in business for the best part of 20 years now, uh, and for most of those years, not all of them, for most of them, uh, I've owned anywhere from two to five businesses at any one point right now, for five different businesses. Uh, and uh, obviously on that journey, you learn a lot, uh, what to do, what not to do, what works, what doesn't work. It's an iterative process. Uh, but I wanted to share with you today five things that I think you ought to think about, rethink about, and think about in a very different way uh, so you can start improving your situation. Now, I'm not saying you're in a bad place, by the way, but we can always learn. And for me personally, every day is a school day. Uh, so no matter how much you know, I think those people who have the right mindset who want to learn, who are eager to change, to improve, to listen, generally speaking, tend to do better than those who have their arms crossed, know it all, been there, done that, seen it all. Uh, and really, those aren't the type of people you and I want to be hanging around with because uh, they're not that good or you're uh, much used to us. We want to be with those people who believe in learning, improving and changing the world. So I'm going to share my five tips with you in the hope that you'll obviously learn something from them, you'll find them useful. If you do, click the like button, post any comments you like, or any questions that you have, and let me know what you think about this particular content. So, and the focus mainly is on mindset, because people ask me a lot of questions on mindset, uh, and so I thought I'd dedicate this to mindset, and mainly mindset for property investors, although it applies generally to anybody and everybody in business, and those who aren't in business either. So number one is about failure. So all too often people make a mistake and they think, oh, this is failure. And I think you need to kind of redirect that and see that in a very different way. Uh, it's not a failure, it's a mistake. And I think mistakes are lessons. So when you make mistakes, you ought to be thinking about uh, what can I learn from this particular lesson? Because if you think about it, in that moment, or in those weeks and hours, and possibly months, uh, you might be thinking, this is, a, I'm doomed for failure. This is a really bad thing that, that, that's happened to me. But think of this this way. Is that gonna be as bad in three months time, six months time, in 12 months time? And if the answer is no, then I'll say, what are you worrying about? Don't let it hold you back. The second thing linked with that is if you're saying I'm, it's all doom and gloom and it's, it's all murky and it's bad, then are you operating at your best level? Or are you now operating what I call below the line, which is where you're sad, upset, disappointed, frustrated, taking things out on people, not focused, not clear, or any uh, other things which, when you're not in a good mood, bring you down, are you operating at your best? If not, then maybe it isn't all doom and gloom. Uh, but the really important thing to understand and acknowledge, I would say, from lessons, is not its failure, is you think, this is a gift, what can I learn from this? And secondly, and most importantly, is what can I do to ensure I avoid this going forward? Because we all make mistakes. I mean, I've been in business the best part of 20 years, like I said to you, even today I make mistakes. I meet people who've been in business for 30, 40, sometimes 50 years, and I speak to them, and they're saying, we're still making mistakes. So there's a pattern here, everybody makes mistakes. Uh, it's just how you react to those mistakes when they've happened, and what you put in place to avoid them happening in the future. So embrace those mistakes, learn from them, and move forward. You're gonna be a better person for it. Because think about it, think where you are right now, and look at the past 
And imagine if you hadn't made the mistakes in the past. I'm not talking about every single one. So for some people, they could have been fundamental. Some people, they could have been fatal. I don't know. But for most of your mistakes, think about them. Had you not made them, would you be where you are today? And would you be the same person? And if the answer is, yes, I'll be the same person uh, and I'll be in a better place had I not made those mistakes, then ignore everything I've said to you so far. But if the answer is, I am where I am today as a result of those mistakes and you feel you're a better person, then embrace mistakes, make them move forward because it's about taking action uh, which makes the difference. I think it was Tom Watson from IBM who said, if you want to be successful, double your failure rate. So go out there and do stuff and embrace mistakes. There's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. Number two. Long word to spell. Uh, just about ability. Here you go. Responsibility. This is a favorite of mine because some people around you and this could be you or sometimes maybe me, uh, maybe thinking it's somebody else's fault. They made a mistake. They did something wrong because of their action or inaction. Something's happened to me. And I don't know about you. And this is quite true, by the way, uh, in politics more than anything else, in terms of things that I do, uh, is when you're working in local politics, you meet some politicians, by the way, who will blame everybody else apart from taking responsibility for themselves. So they'll blame their team members, they'll blame their fellow politicians, they'll blame officers and council level, uh, third party, general public uh, or uh, service providers. So it could be anybody, it's anybody's fault, but theirs. And you'll know by being a member of the general public that people don't like politicians who don't take responsibility. That's just one example for you. But moving away from politics, because I try and avoid that, when I'm talking about business, uh, generally speaking, is you've got to take responsibility for what happens in your life, the good, the bad, the indifferent, the ugly, uh, whether you're performing, whether you aren't performing, whether your team's doing well, if you have employees, uh, or if you're working on your own, whether you have the discipline and you're getting things done, it's all within your control. Because those things that aren't within your control, you can't do anything about anyway. So what's the point of worrying about it? So for example, if you're into football, you support a particular football team, you want them to do well. Uh, and it, but it's not in your control for them to do well. Obviously you want them to do well. So if you're gonna have sleepless nights and worry about it and when the football comes on, you're really fretting and getting agitated, which obviously sup uh, supporters do, especially those who are very passionate. But all of those things aren't going to help that football team it's not in your control but when it comes to your life and when it comes to your business most things are in your control some aren't most are so it's about you taking responsibility and thinking how can i do things better how can i do things differently how can i take responsibility for everything and remember if you work with a team or other people when things go right i believe you should give them the credit and when things go wrong you should look in the mirror and say what did i do wrong where did I fall short? What could I have done better to improve the situation? Uh, unfortunately, most people want to take all the credit when things go good because they want the glory. And when things go wrong, rather than looking in the mirror, they give the blame to other people. So I think having the res being responsible, okay? So this is basically responsibility for me is having the ability to respond to a situation, okay? Having that ability is extremely important. And what I find, having interviewed loads of different people, spoken to different people, having had clients, business partners, third party providers, networking, read books, done the entire, not entire, but uh, quite a bit of the circuit in terms of personal development. I can tell you the people that I've met who come across and are more successful than those who aren't, are the ones who take responsibility for their actions, for where they are, and the ones who aren't doing so well tend to blame others. So make sure you take responsibility for everything. It's going to be a game changer for you. Number three. You've got to be decisive. Because sitting on the fence doesn't get you anywhere. 
And I was thinking of uh, introducing uh, another analogy for you to do with politics, but I'm going to avoid that because I promised you earlier in this video I wouldn't do that in terms of sitting on the fence. Uh, but just to kind of give you an insight, it's called abstaining. So you either vote for something or you vote against. Uh, abstaining, generally speaking, is sitting on the fence, and I don't like doing that in politics. I have sometimes, by the way, but I try and avoid it. But there was a, a joke there as well, uh, which I've stayed away from on purpose. Uh, and I, it was Alan Weiss who I learned this from many years ago, uh, who's an American author, speaker, and he said, uh, and I'm trying to remember this now, uh, he said, imperfect action beats perfect conceptualization. So even if you're doing things that are imperfectly, that's better than sitting behind your desk and mapping something out and trying to make it as perfect as you can. Because you can make it as perfect and as good and as great as you want, nothing's going to change. If you're going to take action, you're slowly, slowly going to start changing, improving, and you're going to be moving somewhere towards some direction. It might not be the direction that you want to go it towards, but at least you're making some kind of pro progress. And you can always obviously move around. Uh, and uh, that's extremely important. And also, uh, I'll link that with uh, a fantastic copywriter who passed away about 13, 14 years ago called Gary Halbert. And he said, motion beats meditation. And he wasn't basically talking about that, that people should not meditate, because I know a lot of people learn from that. So do I, and it's good, calms you down and gives you clarity. I think the comparison he was making is when you're moving, okay, that is better than being sat down and doing nothing most of the time. Uh, so I think it's important to stay in motion yeah, and, and to stay in motion, you've got to be decisive and you sometimes you've got to take risk and you've got to think about what, what the upside is, what the downside is, the, uh, the, the benefits, the advantages, the disadvantages, but whatever you do, do something and that something means move forward a lot of people uh, that you may come across uh, will say things like oh that particular idea was mine i had it 10 years ago i should have done that i have it now somebody else has and look at them they've got a fantastic business or i had this particular uh, thing i should have trademarked i haven't trademarked it somebody else has and look now they're making millions hundreds of millions billions or whatever they are well they're doing that because they took action and the person telling you didn't. So I think being decisive is a, in, an important trait and it's just kind of cutting through the crap, seeing exactly what needs doing and then to the best of your ability, clarity, experience, knowledge, expertise, saying, let me, let me go out there and do it. And action is a wonderful thing. Number four, I call it time management, but really it isn't time management. It's called self-management. And there's a lot of stuff on time management, by the way. It's probably the most evergreen topic out there. A lot of people talk about it. They've been talking about it for many decades, probably even uh, centuries. And obviously it's moved on. I'm not going to give you tips on time management today. I have a whole report on it, by the way. Uh, and there's people who know more about it than I do because they talk about it all the time. Uh, but self-management is extremely important because that leads to time management. Because if you think about it, and I'm sure you've heard this before, and it's a bit cliche, we all have the same amount of time, okay, in a day, in a week, in a month. Why is it some manage to do a lot more than others? Well, simply because they're, they're more focused. Then they, they know what they want to get out of a day, out of an hour, out of half an hour, out of 15 minutes, and they compile and compartmentalize their uh, minutes, hours, days, weeks, and months very differently to those who don't. So I think you need to be aware that we all have a limited amount of time on this earth. We want to make the most of it. And that of course means having fun, spending time with friends, family, going on holidays, doing the things that you enjoy most, i.e. your hobbies. But when it comes to work, I think you've got to be very, very focused and disciplined in terms of managing yourself to get the best out of you for that particular day. Uh, now, although it was my intention not to share kind of 84 different time management tips with you, uh, I will share a couple with you that I think are extremely important. Only a couple. Uh, number one, I think every day you should have a list of priorities. And generally speaking, list anywhere between two to four priorities 
that or things that you want to achieve. Once you've done the, the first one, which is the most important and urgent, tick it off. Then look at the next one, next one, next one, next one. So after, after having done the first one, if you've got three more left, for example, add another one, which is the fifth one, but it's the fourth one, because obviously you've done the first one. And then prior, reprioritize those and think, right now, although the second one was a priority an hour and or hour and a half ago, now that I've added on a new task, which one is the most important and then possibly urgent, but most important right now to move my day and move my time forward. That's gonna help you immensely. And the second thing is in your diary, create different slots for doing different things. Uh, so if you're, if you're a creative person, make some time for that. If you like taking lots of breaks, create time for that. So don't chuck a block your diary, have time if you, if you spend some time on the phone, have allocated time for when you're gonna be in the phone, morning, afternoon, uh, late afternoon. And turn your email off and only ever open it up, I'd say maybe three or four times a day. Now, I don't always do this by the way, so it's, it's important I'll share that with you up front, but more often than not, I do keep it off. Uh, and get, lo and behold, in those days, I achieve more than in the days and I've just got email out there, it goes bing, 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 bing. There's too many disturbances and too many interruptions. Those are only two or three very quick tips for you. There's many more. If you want more stuff on time management, by the way, although it's not my main thing, it's not my gig per se, but I've, I've done enough on it. If you want a video on that, post in the comments below. I'll happily do a video for you on time management based on my experience, not based on having read uh, 645 different time management books, because I haven't read that many time management books, by the way, uh, but I'm happy to share my experience. But I'm also happy to acknowledge I don't know it all. So if you've got any tips, tricks, techniques, and tools in the comments below, share them with me. I'm here to learn as much as I am to share my own information. And number five, I've put down people, but really what I mean is uh, the people who are around you. So surround yourself with the right type of people. And I'm sure you've heard this before. It, it isn't my thing per se, uh, but we are the average of the five people we most associate with. So you want to be finding people who you're going to benefit from and who you can benefit to. Uh, and sometimes that's difficult because you've probably got friends who you like spending time with. But if they're not helping you move forward, should you be spending more time with them and should they be spending more time with you or should you be focusing elsewhere? That's a question I'm gonna leave you to answer. It's not for me to say to you whether you should or you shouldn't. What I can tell you is, that depending on what you wanna achieve in life, hang around with people who are positive, who are committed, who learn from their mistakes, who take responsibility, who are decisive, who manage their time well, and who themselves hang, associate, hang around with, are around people, okay, who help them move their goals forward, help them move their life forward, whereas you can obviously do the same for them and they can do the same for you. Because if you surround yourself with negative people, naysayers, everybody else's fault, aren't achieving much, have been pretty much in the same place, if not in a worse place uh, over time. And this isn't down to society, by the way, your circumstances, this is down to their own choices. So some people are having a hard time uh, because they've lost a job. I'm not talking about those people. Some people are having a hard time uh, because maybe they've picked up certain bad habits because they've been in a, in a deep and dark place. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about people who are able, competent, nothing wrong with them, but decide to make the wrong choices in life on purpose, whether they see it or not, and then you associate with them uh, and they're going nowhere, great. And if you're spending time with them, I can tell you, you're, you're not gonna go anywhere great either. So hang around with people who are gonna help you move forward and you're going to help them move forward. That is That alone is gonna be a huge, massive game changer for you. I know it's hard because you've got family, you've got friends, people you're to school with, college, university, workmates, uh, you can watch football together, cricket, you play your games together, whatever stuff that you do together, it's hard just to leave them and move on. I get that, honestly I do. But it depends how badly you want to be successful 
and how badly you want to achieve your goals. If you do, then you're willing to do what most other people aren't willing to do. So you're going to do these things and especially number five, if you're not and you're paying lip service and you really aren't committed, you really aren't going to take responsibility. You're not going to be decisive. Therefore, you're going to not uh, hang around with or associate with people who can help you move forward. Then you're going to stay where you are. So that's my five tips for you. These aren't exhaustive, by the way. I could have done 55, I could have done 95, I could have even done 105, by the way. Uh, but I just wanted to do five for you because quite a few people were recently asking about mindset and some of the kind of traits. So I just, I just came up with the five that I thought would be useful for you right now. If you want more of this stuff, comments below. Let me know. I'll do it for you. If you like the video, click like. If you've got questions, share those. If you've got any of your own tips, tools, techniques, share them below. Click subscribe so I can give you more content. And thank you for being part of the community.